Hello, uh, today I'm going to test free USB all-in-one um, video bars, sound bars with cameras. There's got to be a name for this category, but I've not a clue what it is. Video bars, let's go video bars. So they're they all-in-one USB um, camera, microphone and speaker um, for huddle rooms. Um, the three units that I've got today are the Poly Studio. The Logitech Meetup and the Cisco RoomKit Mini uh, that I'm running in USB mode, which is the same as the Room USB uh, that's just about to be released prior to it having its um, upgrade to make it a RoomKit. Um, so all USB, all will have speaker tracking enabled, or will have in a second. Um, the idea is so you can have a look at the difference between the cameras and the microphone pickup, and then you can make a decision uh, which one uh is best for you um so let me start with turning on the framing of the studio now the studio has the option to frame the speaker uh or the group if there's multiple of you uh, so i'm going to go with frame speaker and i'll save that it says there we go and the uh studio frames me okay so now the studio has um pan uh, as well as cropping so if i move on the shot i'll move ever so slightly to the left this camera should then pan to me if i move hard right the camera will realize that i've gone and instead of doing a slow pan it will just cut to me um studio latest version also has something called conversation mode Take another seat. Uh, what conversation mode does is if there are two people either side talking and having a conversation, it'll do that kind of framing where it splits the middle and you'll see both of them on screen. Quality little feature. Um, so, Poly Studio. Um, let me flip to another one and then you can have a listen to that. Okay, so this is the uh, Logitech Meetup. Um, difference with this one as uh, to the other two is you have to have the software running on your machine to do any auto tracking um, now the tracking is turned on uh, I believe it frames group and not speaker um, but it doesn't seem to be doing it but I've got the software running I'm just looking at it myself on the screen but it doesn't seem to be doing anything I'm also getting a bit of flicker on the camera uh, and in whatever option I choose for the anti-flicker dependent on um 50 or 60 hertz i still get this but let me go uh hard right kind of away from shot and see if it frames me so i'll stand there and i'll talk at you <laughs> but it doesn't look like it's doing anything okay we'll leave it at that <laughs> so yeah i can't get that uh, to kick in but you can hear what the microphones are like um, it does come with a remote control as does the studio if you want to uh, control it and um, you can also use the software on your laptop as well to control the PTZ uh, should you wish um, okay and now let's swap to, uh, swap to the Cisco okay so now we've switched to uh, the room mini uh, the Cisco um, and what this does is frames the group uh, as opposed to the option of group or speaker this is framing the group um although it feels like the group is me and this space um but that was pretty sharp uh, pretty quick um the cisco you can manage uh, even the new room usb i believe you can manage from uh webex or you can do the web browser um for for local uh, the same with the Poly, actually. The Poly you can use with Resource Manager, Device Manager, uh, or local app to do all your controls as well. Uh, Logitech is local, uh, I believe. And let me move over again. I'll tell you what, why it's not got any sensor there. Let me move to the left and see what the Cisco does. And there we go. And it's framed group. Now, I'm not sure where I expect it to zoom totally in, although the Poly did. Um, Surely I'm the group, the group is me, not me in all this space. Um, but the camera looks great. Um, 
if I'm being honest, I think as, as units, and you can see yourself when you see the picture, um, I actually think this one looks the nicest. Um, sleeker, small footprint. But have a listen, let us know what you think.